Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 2. This is episode 3. Last time we continued on our adventure through the wasteland and ended up at the den, which is where we've gotten to meet a couple of characters. It's been a very interesting little location. We've got addicts beating us up in the street. We've got ghosts. We've got a Brotherhood of Steel outpost and a, and a guy that's like at the front door that knows who we are. Um, and we've got some leads on our <clears throat> on our missions. There's actually been a lot of information that's uh, that's come through here. Uh, we ended up doing. Um, a mission with the with the church I can actually tick that off of my list um, and we lost Lara uh, in the in the church uh, skirmish unfortunately but I guess the other guys will then take over it's really interesting is like Lara's like all right I want to be the person to like you know do the job for Metzger ends up getting killed then we kill the rest of them so then there's only just some random guards left over so now Metzger's force has actually been weakened as a result which is good because then we can just come back and wipe out the slavers later ourselves when we're more powerful right exactly 4d chess now the main quest is obviously retrieving the Gek, but we also need to uh, obtain a thousand dollars to free Vic. So I think what we're going to do, because we we have gotten a decent amount of loot from our previous combat, is we're going to go and find some traders, potentially in some other towns. We'll return to the den, but we're going to go. Oh, we could go to New Reno. Where is that? Where's New Reno? Because that popped up. Uh, where is it? Oh man. Oh god, that's that's pretty far. Damn, that is far. Okay. Okay, that is that's a journey. That is quite the journey. Um, New Reno is doing like a drug running thing. I need to just essentially focus on on trading. New Reno actually might be a decent destination to go and get some cash, then come back to the den. But that's quite a trek. How big is this map, I wonder? You can scroll until the the X happens. This map seems pretty pretty damn large. You can go for a while. That's amazing. Um fuck it. Let's go to New Reno. Let's embark on this journey. How many days is this going to take? One. Ah. Oh. Okay, well this is going to be hard to count when we get interrupted. I've literally just been shot in the head for 10 points by a highwayman straight away, so that is not good. Um, to combat! Wait, what the fuck? I critically missed! I was like, wait, I punched this person and like didn't even they didn't even flinch okay so this is a good start so basically <laughs> i get almost killed sulik was critically hit in the left leg for 15 hit points knocking him to the ground like a bowling pin in a league game and i'm dead your life ends in the wasteland so that's always how i like to start my fallout 2 episodes is i'm dead <laughs> um so something that is a bit of an issue for us is, I guess, our lack of uh, a lack of protection. We're wearing our vault outfit. I might have to. Here's the thing: I need to spend money to make money, I guess, because I could buy at least a leather jacket or I could buy some combat armor at some merchants, but it costs so much, and I'm trying to earn money at the same time. Um, but I'm not going to be able to get more money if I can't survive, can I? So, I might just have to go for the go for the armor. I seemingly can't join the Brotherhood. <laughs> this guy's like, go away. Where's my power armor? Maybe I'll head back to Klamath. I think the combat armor was at Klamath. I believe so. I think the leather jackets are in the den, but I don't remember combat armor being in, um... Oh. This must be my lucky day. Come, see what I have for sale. I don't know, man. This looks... 
more suspicious. A merchant and some guards. Okay. Well, actually, this might work out well for me then. All right, then. Oh, shit. He just said, put your weapon away before you get a shot. Oh, I forgot that, that they take notice of that, don't they? I, I need to put my weapon away so uh, they don't t see me as a threat. Hey there, it's really great that you stopped. Most people along this route just keep right on going. Hey, would you like to trade some things? That'd be good. Please don't shoot me after we finish this transaction just because I have uh, a weapon. Seventeen! Seventeen dollars! No! I was hoping you would have money on you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sell, bro. Oh my god, bye. Fuck. I'm trying to sell, not buy. <laughs> kind of a merchant has 17 caps to his name. I keep wanting to say caps, and I just did, but like, it's because that's the Bethesda effect. It's uh, that part of Fallout is so deeply ingrained in my head. I think I explained this in the first Fallout game that it was actually quite a surprise to learn that caps was not a thing. Like, they're like, here's your, here's your dollars. Just using a monetary figure, you know? Uh, it really did surprise me. Um, cause yeah, bottle caps as a currency. I fucking love that as a concept. I love that idea so much, especially when you get to like New Vegas and there's such like, you know, you've got your sunset sarsaparillas and your, you know, the new Coca-Cola in general, just like having that be like the currency I thought was really unique. And I just thought that that was a Fallout thing. Um, it ain't. It's like, here's your coins, bro. So whenever I am like referring to money in Fallout, I keep wanting to say um, caps. <laughs> that probably would piss off some people. Let's read this notice board because we didn't read it the first time because I didn't realize it was something to be interacted with until we got to the den. There are several things here, some ads, job notices, and even a drawing. It looks as though some of these have been here for a while. Let's take a look at that drawing. A crude drawing of what looks like a Brahmin with a big X through it and the word Tor scrawled underneath. Okay, <laughs> I'll take another look at that. Um, something about booze. Booze got your attention, didn't I? Bum leg prevents business. Need help refueling still. Speedy and reliable type needed. See Whiskey Bob over at Ma Buckner's place. Okay. Um, refuel a still. Let's uh, add that to my real life quest log. Refuel still. Whiskey Bob is our quest giver. I fucking love this stuff, by the way, because like while an in-game quest log and like here's your side objectives, here's your optional objectives, here's your primary objectives, having it all collected in the game is convenient. It's nice. It's a quality of life change. I really love it. But there's something that I think is very refreshing for me when I go back to these older games and we've played quite a few games on the channel now, which has inspired me to bring out the notepad and... I think I really, really love it because it's this sense of immersion that you get from the game where you're like, the information that you receive in the game, like, you need to hold on to it. You, you need to, like, your game experience will be the information that you retain, right? So, like, if you were a wastelander out here, you'd be making notes of stuff. You'd be, like, keeping track of everything. People having their, like, survivor diaries and all that kind of stuff. And just, like... We've played games where people will mention names or locations and it's not recorded anywhere. You have to be the one to record it. And I love the uh, the player involvement in that sense. It's very archaic and it's probably not very accessible for a lot of people because they'll just get frustrated and be like, ah, oh, I forgot everything. Um, but I love it. I really do. It's, uh, it's incredible. So anytime that there's a game that brings out the notepad, I get quite a bit excited about it. As much as I appreciate, like an in-game quest log as well. 
Um, and this game does it in a good way where it's like your pit boy can track your stuff and that's really nice. And then there are like modern games that have a very immersive sort of user interface that fits in with the game world. I like that stuff as well. But when it's just like, here's a long list of overwhelming things to do, um, I start to go, yeah. you know, like this sort of open world fatigue of like, here's a million icons on the map. Uh, good luck choosing what to do and not getting overwhelmed. Um, when you can actually like write down things as they come and things that you experience is just what you naturally discover. It feels uh, so much better. Can Bethesda take a big long look at Fallout and do a spin-off game that is like a modern era computer RPG? Like, can we get this in the modern day? I think anything's possible. I think that would be amazing. With some quality of life changes, of course, because accessibility is always a thing for modern audiences. Like, I have friends that will not play a video game if the graphics aren't up to date, right? They just can't engage with the game if the graphics aren't modern. And like each to their own, everyone has different sort of requirements for their games. But I'll play a game that's pixelated as hell if the story's good, you know? Rant over, something here about a bath. Feeling grubby, nothing makes a feller feel better and a nice bath. Three fun-filled types to choose from, featuring the beautiful and talented Jenny, late of the den. See Big Nose Sal at the bathhouse for more exciting details. Uh, someone wants to buy some lizard hides. Top dollar for top pelts. You have gecko pelts. I have dollars. Golden gecko pelts. Especially welcome. See me first, Sajag. Oh, right. Owner operator Golden Gecko Tavern. This could be a good idea to get us some coin, actually, because we have killed some geckos. We could go and kill the geckos in Arroyo that were in that foresty area around smoke for some pelts. We can also try and find these golden geckos again, like we did uh, last time and how we failed. There's some good cash to be earned there. I think that's a good idea. Here's something about rats. Now I have this written down, but I couldn't find what they're talking about. Too many damn rats in Trapper Town. Come get them, all you can eat, slim. Maybe there must be somewhere to get in. So I think I'll um, I'll double back over the Klamath quest lines because there's it's clear that they, we've got Smiley the Trapper with the Golden Geckos. We've got this rat thing. Uh, and now we've got a refueling a still with Whiskey Bob. Something about old stuff here. Genuine antiques. <laughs> They don't make it like they used to. In fact, they mostly don't make it at all. If you want the good old stuff, see Vic the Trader, east side of downtown. I love that genuine has just always been written as genuine antiques. Because <laughs> like you don't spell, you don't say antiques how it's spelt clearly. Looks like someone's gone missing. Missing person. Has anyone seen Smiley the Trapper? Smiley's about six feet tall, clean, and housebroken, mostly. Disappeared up north, and I kind of miss him. Arden Buckner. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna go north uh, for for Smiley. We'll just go north and see if we can find him. And something that I think I appreciate about this notice board at the beginning of a settlement is you can talk to people and get these quests naturally in conversation. Um, but this is a good, like, here's everything that's going on in this town right now. Uh, feel free to take a look around. And I think that that is a very good way to do it. Uh, obviously, I missed the notice my first go around, but that's okay. Um, let's go to the Golden Gecko because we do have some pelts on us at the moment. And this is Whiskey Bob, is it not? Oh no, this is Sajag. Where's fuck's whiskey bob i need to find whiskey bob um okay well, i'd like to trade i've got all kinds of things right here kid healing supplies booze all kinds of stuff i've got special sources you might say always willing to look at a good gecko pelt too special sources then you should be able to give me a really good price well i don't have prices like this for just anybody it's not easy to get this stuff from the den 
Alright, let's have a look. How many caps you got? And there's my combat armor. Alright, 154. So, oi, oi. Oi. Alright, I'm gonna cough up enough value to get your caps and get myself some combat armor. Because I need the protection, because everybody is like stabbing me, punching me, shooting me. I take all kinds of damage right now. So we're gonna offload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna offload some stuff. I'm gonna get some stim packs as well. So I can get some healing. Uh, and we should be able to afford this. Whoa! Woohoo! Look at that. That is uh, that is pretty exact, and that allows us to keep these bullets, this gun, this gun. Uh, we'll sell more stuff at some other people, but that is a that's a good trade. What else have you got? Um, I don't think we need anything. Oh, actually, you know what? Oi! Oh! Oh! Prices sky high. Jesus Christ! All right, I'll just off of that. That's a good trade. All right. Um, that is expensive. Okay. So good news, everyone. Um, we're, we've still got retained our dollars. We've even got more because we traded items for, uh, combat armor. So that's very nice. Um, this is also something I really, really love about this game as well. And the original fallout is the concept of trading items that share value because, in the Bethesda games, it's like you sell your items, you buy their items. But being able to trade for items of similar value uh, feels very natural. That's awesome. Didn't even sell him the pelts, but that's because we uh, robbed him of all of his coin. I'm not sure how often stores might refresh their inventory and if they get their coin back, but I guess we'll um, we'll figure it out. First things first, however, suit me up, baby. That looks good. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of the pipe rifle from my inventory, well, from my <coughs> thing, so I can at least walk around unarmed so people won't freak out. Now, I've forgotten... Who the hell is Whiskey Bob? Who the hell is Whiskey Bob? I need to I need to get this information again because I've written down the whiskey bob stuff. But hold on a minute. Um, something about booze. Ma Buckner's place. Okay. Um, where the fuck is Ma Buckner's place? Is that this is this place? Whiskey Bob? Where's Whiskey Bob? Is Whiskey Bob in here? Because this is Arden Buckner. Right, where's Whiskey Bob? This guy. There we go. Tucked away in the corner. I don't even think we spoke to this guy last time because I literally did not even see him there. He blends in so well. If I was to enter buildings, that's why I kind of wish I could like zoom in <laughs> and like see everything. Alright, howdy stranger, my name's Whiskey Bob, what's yours? My name's Mopocalops, nice to meet you, Whiskey Bob. Always nice to find another drinking buddy, wanna buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. Oh no, I did speak to him because I said I don't want to buy you a drink, Whiskey Bob, didn't I? Uh, alright, <laughs> I'll be, you know what, I'm gonna lighten up a bit, I'm gonna lighten it up a bit, I'm gonna buy him a drink. Sure, Bob, thanks for the drink, partner. Now that my whistle's wet, I feel that I can share a little problem I have. Hey, maybe you can help me out. Um, okay. If it won't take too long, I guess I could help you. For a price, of course. Now then, it's probably going to take you too long and it's not too dangerous at all. It's not going to take you too long and it's not too dangerous at all, probably. You want to hear about it or not? Go ahead. Well, you see, I have a little side business that I need some help attending to. I have a moonshine still outside of town that needs to be fueled up every so often. Since a gecko done bit my leg, I can't hobble out to it uh, before it runs out of fuel. If I tell you where it is, would you refuel it for me? It's worth $50 to me. Sure. I like how you say his full name. Like, 
You don't say Bob. You go for the full whiskey Bob. That doesn't sound too bad. Tell me more. All you have to do is find a little shack just south of town, go inside and dump some firewood into the still, then come back here and I'll give you your money. But it needs to be done within the next day or my batch of hooch will go bad. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. Okay, I'll do it. You'll do it? Great. Remember you to do it soon or my hooch will go bad. Thank you heap. See you back here soon. No problem, Bob. See you in a day. All right, so uh, south of town, firewood in a thing. Do I have to obtain said firewood? Or um, maybe I the firewood is in the location. Let's go and have a look. Um, south of town. Look, oh my God, we got geckos, baby, and we got golden geckos. Okay, this will be the mill. Okay, nice. It's time to get some gecko pelts, baby. Oh no. Hey, yeah. Time to punch some geckos. Tough little gecko was hit for. <laughs> Tough little gecko. We got the power now. Hey, yeah. Oh, come on. You know. I think that I should have made sure that my luck points were high with my melee, but I th we'll make it work. <clears throat> we'll make it work. All right. No pelts. Unbelievable. All right. Golden Gecko. Fight. That's a nice, successful triple punch. Nice. I like how he's able to catch up to me. Oh god, come on. Eat within range, please. Come on, you got this. Just some standard, standard run-of-the-mill punches. But once I get some more action points, I can go for the critical hits a bit more often, I think. It's just good to focus on being able to get multiple punches in a row. No pelts! What is happening? Especially for a golden gecko. Damn. So it's not a guaranteed drop for a pelt, even from a golden one. You come to me, will you? No? Okay. You bastard. Little gecko. Love that there's like little different names for them all. <laughs> I love the 3D like wire rendering of them too. The groin! And then the head. Damn it. I love getting hit for no damage. Don't miss in the head, come on. There you go, nice. <laughs> Punch it in the head. Come on. No pelt. Clicking on things in an isometric perspective can be pretty hard too. Because it's like, I'm clicking on a tree. Feel the pain. I love that my characters literally just run around and punch everything. <laughs> I've never played an unarmed or melee focused character in any RPG. Like, um, I love to be, oh, well, actually that's a, a little bit of a lie. Like I've probably played like melee focused. I, I guess I mean like, um, in, I would say in a game that, in an RPG that involves like uh, long range weapons like guns and stuff like that. Like, I don't tend to go for a melee choice when I have guns as a choice. Um, and then usually I also like being like the sneaky rogue type uh, as well. So 
playing an actual brawler is a type of character that I never really go for. So this is really new for me, and it's just kind of fun. I just like go around and punch everything. Yeah, but Bethesda, like with Elder Scrolls and stuff, you know, I, it's the same as everybody. It's the tried and true, uh, I'm going to um, play a rogue thief, you know, sort of thing. Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood are like my favorite two factions. So it's kind of obvious. Prepare to get punched, Gecko. Today, uh, Sulik is moral support. You'll be taking the long walk, man. Nice. Can I get a Gecko pelt, please, from this? No way. This is... Does your luck stat determine your drops? Is if it does, I've screwed myself. All right, where we got any firewood in here? Uh, we got some. Uh, we got some booze, some shine. I guess there could be some firewood outside potentially. All right, we got some flares. Let's just interact with the mill. A stilling device, okay. Um, all right, it doesn't allow me to actually... Nothing comes up when I interact with it. Oh, hang on, here you go. Is this firewood? Okay, there you go. There is firewood. It's just chilling. Silly me. Remember to hold shift to highlight your items, guys, and then no worries. Only problem is you have to do... Yeah, it can be pretty hard to pick up items sometimes through the wall. All right. Oh, hang on. Do I have to go... I highlight it, and then I go to my bag, and then I go to the firewood. There you go. It sounds as though the hooch is distilling nicely now. You get 100 experience points for refueling the still. There you go. I forget that, like, to use an item on an object, you, like click on it then go into your bag I'll have to remember that just just things that we learned in the previous game yeah I think if I had the opportunity to maybe respec the character a little bit um, I would probably make my life uh, easier by increasing my luck and then I would probably be a little more charismatic. I'd make myself a charismatic brawler. I'm a little bit disappointed by the sheer lack of gecko pelts that are dropping here. I thought this was going to be a really perfect opportunity because I'm like, it's close to town. There's a whole bunch of geckos. Um, we haven't had a single pelt drop. Not a single one. Out of all of these, even with golden geckos, that's unbelievable. So we're going to hopefully try and go and find some more. Um, I guess we'll be going north to go after Smiley. I think completing these jobs, getting this money, getting some items, this will help us get the thousand that we need for Vic. So it was good for us to, to double back a bit because there was still stuff uh, left undone. We be crushing you. Nice, there we go. Alright. That's that's unlucky. That is genuinely like pretty unlucky. I'm gonna kill the rest. See if I can get some pelts. Because I think it's worth it to at least see if I can get what I need. Yes, nice. We got the the one turn kill. Right, it's two up here. There's another one by the mill, but I think I'll just leave that one alone. Where's my... Everything's going to be so much better now that I've got this combat armor on as well. 
big old improvement to my resistance to damage over just wearing a cloth suit. Need to get some more action points as well, so I can go above my 10. That'll be nice. Wow. This is, uh, this is abysmal. These geckos don't want to give up their pelts, huh? Big shame. Nice. All right. What about this last one? I don't even know if I can, I can click on this now. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. All right, we're out of here. So we've done the, the steel. I wonder if enemies will refresh. Maybe after like a couple of days or something, enemies might refresh. All right, Whiskey Bob. I am peltless, but I am free. Well, thanks for refueling my steel for me. Here's your $50 too. And then you can find out what's going on. All sort of things going on hereabouts lately. We got gigantical rats missing people. Some even say the den's involved. Gigantical rats? I'm going to hear more about those. Well, out the back of Trapper Town, just to the west of downtown, there's a back section that's overrun by rats. The further back you go, the bigger they get. Some say that there's one huge great rat spirit that's leading them all. Some say the trappers wouldn't even stay there anymore. They say it's too dangerous. Okay, so I just have to keep going further in. Trappers ousted by rats. Have you ever heard of a Garden of Eden creation kit? Why, well, I think I saw one of those listed on an old catalog I was looking through while I was sitting down out back, but I don't know much more about it than that. Really, I'd like to see that catalog. Uh, oh. <laughs> I kind of used that page to take care of some business, if you know what I mean. Oh man, that's so funny. <laughs> Uh, business. Oh, that kind of business. I prefer old newspaper myself. Oh, well. That's so funny. Just, like, another thing that I really love is my character is, like, again, so well-spoken. <laughs> it's so entertaining. So well-spoken. Okay. Um, no gecko pelts to sell, sadly. Uh, I think I can trade with... Who's the one I can trade with? I think it's the daughter. I would like to trade. Um, have you got money? Cool. I can get some more caps this way. I think I sold her the shovel. But I kind of want to get the shovel back because I wonder if we can use the, the shovel on something to actually dig things. That would be really interesting. Um, I'll keep it on me. Now, have we... What is this? This is a spear and this is a sharpened spear okay you can take both my spears then uh, take a knife i've got some random rocks i got some fucking random bones now uh, what have you got that i need stim packs i need healing i need your money and the first aid kit which i understand how that works now I feel like I need the rope because you really needed a rope in the first game. You needed a rope, big time. So I'm going to do that. That firewood literally costs nothing, so it's just like extra shit. So that's just taking up space in my inventory now. I love it. Um, booze sells for like an amount. I'm not really going to drink any of it. Uh, sell another one of these guns. Hang on. Take the... Fuck, I forgot to take the ammo out of those other guns before I sold them. That's okay. 600. Um, oh yeah, I'm probably not going to use my other pair of spike knuckles. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll get that healing powder. Just to have backup healing. And then 
Will we use a flare? I don't know. Will we use this pipe rifle? Probably, probably not. Probably not. We really, we, we, we took one bullet out of it because it's a single shot. Yeah, I'll probably do, do that. I'm trying to make this as even of a trade as I can get at the moment. I might have to like just pay. I might have to just pay the difference. I don't want to pay more. <laughs> I don't want to unnecessarily throw away items. So I just need to link this, link this up a bit. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll save, I'll save this to some other people. There you go. So I'll just do a exact trade. So we've got some more stuff just to hold on to. We've got a good carry limit, which is nice as well. And then I can also use Sulik to carry some other shit, which I might just give him my garbage, to be honest. What you be needing? Um, can I? You got it, friend. I just trade, right? Yeah. I'm just going to give you some stuff. Now you've got the pistol that you're not going to use. So I might even end up selling that as well. So we'll see. I'm just going to give him stuff. Uh, this is cool that it talks about like the actual weight. Yeah. Hold on to the, hold on to the bones, Sulik. You know, that's, that's fitting for you actually. Hold on to the bones. I'm going to give you um, some healing ability as well just in case he'll lose some perception but he can heal at least um then the other stuff i'm going to sell take these and take these rocks too i don't know what the deal is with those but you hold on to those thank you buddy what you be what you be needing all right that's done we're gonna go to trapper town while we're still in this location then and figure out this rat thing and then we'll go north for Somali. Somali. Okay, now it's daytime, so I might be able to see a bit more here. So this is barricaded. Um, you can go in here, but I, yeah, I was struggling to find a way to get over this side and then also checking out this stuff here. So we'll try again, take a look around. Maybe I might have to talk to someone and they'll like help me gain access. Cause yeah, being in here, there just isn't, and I don't know if, know if I can loot any good stuff in this place. Oh, in this one because yeah I was like thinking there might be like a sewer hatch or something because that happened in the first game out is stranger appears to be locked okay you don't mind if I unlock this do you ma'am you fail to pick the lock I feel like I'm going to end up jamming the lock on this thing again. All right. Let's just go around the outside and try this door. <laughs> try this a few times. This is also locked because of course it is. I can't, I can't select the door because I can't see it. There we go. I have to do it like this way. <laughs> like, how do I, how can I pick what I cannot see? Oh, actually, shit. I'm stupid. I should be able to go through this blades building right here, right? No. There are people there. 
Oh yeah, there you go. I go through this door, this door, then I can go through, God. There you go. I'm able to go through here. <laughs> I think it was this door that I just did not see. A very tall, lanky trapper. Hello there, friend. Nice of you to visit all of us here. My name's Slim Pickett. I talk for Trapper Town. Hello there, Slim. My name's Mapocalypse. Why do you call this Trapper Town? Well, this here part of town is where all of us trappers live when we're not out here trapping geckos. Only problem about the free digs is uh, the rats on the north side. But we have most of the entrances uh, to that part of the mall barricaded pretty good. Do you ever go to the north side? We blocked off all the entrances to the north side of town except one. I have a key to that one entrance, just in case anyone needs to get over there for any reason. I can't figure out why anyone would want to, though. I sure wouldn't. Okay. I'm interested in getting that key from you. You want the key to the north side of Trapper Down? What do you want that for? Um, I'm going to help you with your rat problem. Well, okay. Here's the key. Just don't go stirring up too much trouble back there. And make sure you close the door behind you. Nice. Um, interesting. There was... He mentioned something about a car, and also there might be a geck on a back shelf. I'm interested in checking out that car. Okay. Tell me about trapping geckos. You're interested in trapping, huh? I don't think I'd try it if I were you. You might get your hands all dirty and calloused. <laughs> Anything you want to know about? This dude definitely looked at me and said, Your outdoorsman skill is too low, pretty boy. Me being from an actual tribe, however. Um, I sure wish I was as skillful as trapper as you are. I bet you could teach me a lot. Your tribe are mostly farmers, aren't they? I don't think I could teach you a darn thing. I'm that good already, huh? <laughs> there you go. Um, do you know anything about a Garden of Eden creation kit? Oh, you mean a geck? Huh. Well, I saw an ad for one of those in an old magazine, but I don't think they exist anymore. Certainly not around here any place. Damn, he actually knows that it's a geck too. You sure have a lot of cars here. We have a whole lot full of cars, all ready for their owners to come back from shopping. Thing is, they never did. Not a dang one of them runs, though. There's a real beauty of a Chrysalis Motors Highwayman just east of here, but I haven't figured out how to get to it yet. Oh, okay. There's a car east of here. Um, hasn't figured out how to get it to run. Maybe we can? Fallout, like, is really interesting because, like, there are vehicles everywhere, like, like bikes and cars and stuff like that and none of them run but then you've got like the brotherhood with their like vertebrates and stuff like that so there's like it's easier to probably have aerial combat maintained you know make sure you've got the skies covered instead of like ground vehicles and stuff um but there is a car uh to the east um now I'm not sure if that's east in this location or east of Klamath, but I will keep a note of that. So that's written down. Interesting. Rats? Tell me more about rats. <laughs> well, they taste pretty good if you spit roast them with just a titch of herbs, but most of the time they can be a real nuisance and they're getting worse. We've barricaded the north side of the town, but they're sneaking through anyway. All right. There's one door to the north side, and I think we're good. All right, let's go. It appears to be locked. Not if I have anything to do to say about it. Hey, yeah. Key. You unlock the door. Let's go, baby. All right. I finally found access to this place and all I had to do was just use my eyes a little more. That, that's kind of like the hard part about um, the isometric thing sometimes is you can miss some small entryways and things that you don't really know what to look for. Open the door please. All right, let's go. Time to take out some rats. Should be some good loot in this area for us too I'd expect. 
you see a car. If the mechanic of the year suddenly appeared next to you, both of you could not fix this rusty heap. Oh no, this is what he's talking about, just east of here. So like east of this building. I'm, I like don't know if he means east of the town itself. Hi, women. You cannot get there. Okay, this one does not say that it's unfixable. Could we actually get a car? I mean, that would explain the size of the goddamn map and distance between locations if we can actually get into a car, but I feel like fueling it is going to be a nightmare in an apocalypse. This is exciting, though. Alright, actually, let's check out this room first. See, another door that I only just saw, because I'm like, how do I get into this room? Come on, guys. Give me some loot. I need it. Oh, yes. Give me some rubber boots. That's just what I need. That's the good loot. There we go. There we go. Yep. We're on a rubber boots collection. I mean, rubber boots in the apocalypse, in, like, the wastes, that'd be good. You know, no wet socks when you've got rubber boots on. So there, there's perks, there's perks, I get it. Actually, I should hold shift as well so I can see if there are items that I can pick up. It's taken us so long to get to rat enemies, how funny is that? And there's a, there's a few of them. But yeah, it's really funny how long it's taken us to get to rats, considering that they were like the tutorial enemy of, um... <laughs> the tutorial enemy of the first game. They're a nice little one-hit kill, at least. So this is nice. <laughs> Go through and pick them clean. Pest control. I wonder if we'll actually see them get bigger on our screen or whether we have to go somewhere specifically and then we'll see them get bigger after that. never felt more powerful in my life. I know they're just rats, but like, when we started the first Fallout game, rats would take a little bit more time to deal with. So this is nice. I get to feel like I'm some sort of conqueror of the world, at least on a rat scale, you know? What? 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 No. Rat critically missed and took four hit points, knocked down and hurt herself. I was I thought it just died by attacking me. What the fuck? Oh my god. The critical miss. Now that's that's a funny thing, right? I just love the concept of like having an another level above missing that you can critically fail something. I just find that fascinating and just something even worse happens. You critically missed so bad, your punch swung around and hit yourself in the face, knocking yourself out. Like that sort of attitude. It's great. Ace, level up. Rat killing. Let's go. Rat killing. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay. So you see how it's like, is there going to be an entrance down into the bottom? Because they're talking about some sort of like, you know, mine underneath Trapper Town. There you go. Cool. You enter a series of tunnels beneath Trapper Town. The smell of rat droppings is quite strong. Cool. Let's take a look around. At least it's not locked. What's going on in here? Don't mind if I do. Oh, 
Oh my god. The constant getting trapped by your companions has really got to stop. <laughs> they shouldn't have player collision on like that. Like, um, or like character collision. They should just let you be able to walk through your companions. They stand in doorways a lot. What is this equipment? Machinery. It looks like an old printing press or manufacturing doohickey. I guess our main objective here is find large rat, kill large rat, profit. Oh my god, Sulik is actually doing something. He's finally been able to kill a rat before me. Nice. I wonder if I can interact with the press at all, but I mean this... I wouldn't expect there to be much point in doing so. Now let's scout ahead. We... Ooh, there's some radioactive barrels. There's another ladder, actually. So there's multiple levels to this. Multiple levels. Oh, hang on. I think that was an item to pick up. I just held shift and something came up. <gasps> I didn't kill a rat first turn this time. I'm getting weaker. What is, what is this, like rocks? I'm assuming this would just be like a rock. Yep, picking up, you can pick up rocks. Well, there you go. I love the detail of like wearing a belt. Like, well not the belt, sorry, but like the strap of the, the, the pit boy. The, the length of it made me say belt, but I assume it's like, you know, wrapped around my arm. And I love the vault boy on the, the detailing here. It's amazing. I assume that there would be maybe some barrel is probably empty from the hollow sound. I assume that there might be some reasons why we could probably explore more down here. This empty metal barrel has the nuclear uh, trefoil pe symbol painted on the side and bright yellow paint. Trefoil? Trefoil? I've honestly never even seen that word before. Trefoil. Something I kind of wish wasn't a thing in this game is when your cursor like sits on something in the environment, it goes, you see cave wall, you see cave wall. And it makes like a sound effect every time. I'm like, I don't need that. But I guess that's what I get for having that specific cursor on. Just wondering if there's a reason to explore these previous tunnels. I guess the reason would be you can get experience by killing rats, but I'm just trying to see if there's any loot or anything. Doesn't seem like we've got any loot. Oh, I found some bones. There's some bones here. Loot bones. Four crowbar. I already have a crowbar, I'm pretty sure, right? The crowbar might be on my companion's inventory. Pretty sure I've picked up a crossbow. Oh, hang on. There's something there. Is that a sledgehammer? Sledgehammer. I'll pick that up. There you go, there's some loot. Just a bunch of rocks. Oh yeah, I should level up as well. See what we got. The Apocalypse, the Rat Slayer. Okay, level up please. What do we got? <clears throat> Just skill points? Okay, we're going to put some points into our small guns because we will probably use guns at some point if we get desperate for some long range stuff. Um, I think we should also...
bump that up, and then bump that up. There you get it. Do that. All right, let's check out what's going on here. We're going further down. Oh, what is that? Tough pig rat. Okay. Of course, mole rats. Of course, another ladder. That's so cool. God, I love this shit. All right, let's go take a look. We got some more rats to slay. Surprise, surprise. Um, but some bigger ones. I love that they're doing like the, the rats worshiping their larger mole rat cousin. They take damage. Gotcha. <clears throat> he looks dead. How much experience points do we need to level up? Yeah, you can get levels pretty, pretty good. It's worth engaging in combat with all the rats, because 100 XP, it adds up. Right, I'm going to save, because we haven't actually, we have not saved um, all episode, which is really stupid of me. I just realized that. Um, save and save often. How many times do I have to tell you guys? <laughs> That could have been awful. That would have uh, crushed my spirits wholeheartedly. Especially like the idea of like, you know, needing to remember what you've even done, you know? All right, there you go. It's another hostile creature. Oh, we've been spotted. There you go. Okay, uh, combat is happening with our mole rat. Look at the eyes. I love it. Oh, it's called Rat God. Incredible. Flesh feast! Flesh feast! It talks! Alright, so look, I'm going to need your help this time because I'm actually taking damage. I'm going to go for a targeted one on this bad boy. Alright. The groin! Damn it. The groin! Gotcha. Nine points in the groin is always a good one. Ow. Oh, don't miss. Sulik, don't miss. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, no, hang on. Seriously wounding the rat and knocking it around. Almost dead. You see a large albino mole rat with an enlarged brain case. He's throffing at the mouth. Oh, my God. Big brain. What have you been ingesting that made you so smart? Yeah. Let's back up. Ah. Ouch. Sulik, what are you doing today? Gotcha. There we go. You killed King Rat. Get it? King Rat. That's fucking hilarious. I did write Rat King question mark. I was close, actually. I just... King Rat. <laughs> Holy shit. 300 experience and 50 karma. Can't loot it. Damn. Nothing to obtain. Is there anything in here? What's this? What's that? Bones. Human remains. Why wouldn't it let me... There we go. What did I pick up? Oh, it's the Ander root. Okay. What's this? Combat knife. Okay. Not the best loot in the world. I have slain your god. You worship me now. Respect me. Or die. Okay. Seeing if there's anything like tucked. Ooh. That's the thing, you can never tell. Just seeing if there's anything tucked around out here. 
There is another ladder, so we're going to go this way and see where this takes us. I expect this will take us to the... to the car and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Nice. Good work, team. Large pile of bleached animal bones. Nothing showing up when we search. All right, we're going to just go this way. Watch our character take the journey. All right, loot this bad boy. Nothing on our way out. Okay. What is... Okay, nothing. All right, let's leave. Take the ladder. Oh shit, okay, there's more. Okay. So there'll still be some more rats. Oh, there's a locker. They're teasing us. Okay. And we've got more rats this way as well, just not keying rat. Might have to use a second stim pack, which I was kind of hoping not to do, but... Honestly, we've gone through a lot of combat encounters, so... We're doing all pretty good, but I feel like these bigger mole rats might be a bit of a problem. So, I'm gonna just be safe. Better safe than sorry. Good, good hit. Ow. Oh, oh, eight points. Thank you, Sulik actually got a kill. Just came at me getting critically injured as a result. We've got flares, but we I don't think we really need to use them much at all. We can kind of see. Locker. What do we got? Oh, thank you. I got my stim packs that I've used so far returned to me and some moolah. Jolly good. Oh, surprise mole rat. I thought I saw one here. And I was like, maybe I imagined it. These mole rats need to learn respect. I've killed your elders. I need the animal friend perk, guys. Actually, I don't even know if animal friend is in this one, but that actually makes me think. I'm like, imagine having the animal friend perk and then encountering King Rat. Rat. And then what if you can have a conversation with it? It can talk. It, like, decided to you know, commence combat immediately. So I don't know if there was dialogue there because we've kind of had that, you know, right? With like talking with characters when we talk about, I believe that there is other ways, you know, out of, you know, situations or confrontation, you can talk your way through things. And they say, not every time, but we'll see. It feels like if you have the a, a speech capable, um, oh, what is that? speech capable mole rat there could be a conversation I've got a tool a tool set containing various useful tools including pliers oh I think that allows us to that gives us a little boost to the repair skill does it not if we use tools on something to repair I think if I remember correctly from the first game Okay, we've got dynamite. I wonder if um, we're able to get back to Trapper Town this way without having to go all the way through. And I also wonder if the dynamite is specifically to blow open this door if we're not able to lockpick it. I would assume that's the case. I need to get some dynamite for that lock that we jammed 
in the Dunton's house. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to assume that this is what this is for. Um, so we're going to use it and we'll set the timer for 10 seconds and then we will drop this on the ground and then we will run. Sulik, please come with. Nice. Blow open the door. I love the fact that that's a thing that you actually do. Being able to blow open doors with dynamite. Okay, up we go. We did it. We're out of here. We can engage with the Nuka Cola vending machine. You wonder if it still works. Well, can I interact with it? Repair. You cannot repair that. Okay, we just say you wonder if it still works. Or well, what if you interact with it then? Um. Would this work? Wait. Oh, it worked. Thunk, thunk, kaching. You dodged the bottle of Nuka Cola. Oh! You. Dude, yes. It shot out of the machine. That's fucking incredible. You actually can use coin on machine and it works. I was almost going to use the tools on it. That's funny. How much did it take from me? I guess so you just like put the one in. We've got a thousand by the way, so we can free Vic now. Uh, let's do it again. This is, this is amazing. I love how this user interface works. Once you understand it, it's a little bit janky at first. Yes, dude, I'm getting bottles of Nuka-Cola for only like one coin, right? One dollar? That's not bad at all. That's incredible, actually, because I feel like I can make a profit. <laughs> I feel like we can make a decent Nuka-Cola profit because it would cost a lot more to buy from traders. I'm assuming there'd be a limited amount here, right? Like eventually you'd empty the machine. Or is this an infinite resource of Nuka-Cola? Ooh, you get a not so fresh bottle of Nuka-Cola. There you go. And that one didn't shoot out. That one just went straight to my inventory. Not so fresh. Why do I feel like that would make sure that it's the last one? Because it's different. Oh no, another one shot out. Damn. I wonder how often you'd be able to do that for. We'll leave it now, but like, I guess we could always come back if we're curious. Now, it doesn't look like there's any exit zones in this area, which is um, annoying. I kind of wish that we could like have a shortcut, but maybe we'll figure it out. Let's have a look in these buildings. We might just have to go back the long way, I suppose, because they said that they sealed off all the entrances. Except for that one. Even if you were to sleep by yourself on this thing, you would not be sleeping alone. Is this a bed? I thought it was a desk. I can't move the camera, obviously, because we're at the end of the zone. Kind of thought that there would be maybe something I could investigate in here, but apparently not. There are doors, so we're going in, damn it. No shelves or anything. All right, let's investigate this car then. This highwayman. It looks cool. An old broken down highwayman. You find a fuel injection system in the back seat. Nice. You gain 200 experience points. So I have a fuel injection system. Some car owners installed this regulator, which doubles the car's mileage between charges, but most drivers didn't care how much juice their cars consumed. After all, power is cheap and plentiful, so why worry? So we found it in the back seat. So do we... Use 
use it on this. The engine is nothing but a pile of rust that falls apart as soon as you open the hood. Okay. What is that? So what does that mean? So I can't use this, but it goes to use it on it. I think that we're able... So if we've, if we've got a fuel injection system and the engine's fucked, I feel like we must be able to... We need to get an engine. You can put the engine in. Put the fuel injection in. But then... I don't know, the we there's you can see that there's no wheels. It's lifted up on cinder blocks. I mean there's tires all ar all around the place. And I miss miss uh like Could I just I just just pull these uh pull these wheels off this car, right? Guys? Pull the wheels off this car. <laughs> And then we're fine, right? Stack of tires. They have vulcanized and hardened, probably due to the heat. Okay. Well then, I guess we could go and talk to the guy that uh, about the car. We're like, I have a thingy, and he might be able to help us. So now we have to go back the long way round. Sadly. Who's this guy? One of Klamath's citizens. I don't remember there being a person here before. All right, we'll speak to this guy. Be like, yo, you're just a regular pad pap, ain't you? Thank you. Oh, okay. So we can't speak about the car. I just have to like figure it out myself. Got to be an adult. Howdy, stranger. Okay. All right, well, put two and two together. We need an engine. Um, I have a fuel injection thing and I'll be like, Hey guys, I need to see a guy about an engine. You know, don't laugh at me, but I think the rat God's dead. Trapping geckos is dangerous, but it pays well. Ah, oh, rat tastes better than most people think. Hungry? So sorry for the eating noises. I just realized so many people are going to hate that. We could use a few more people of your caliber here. Oh, actually, any of these cars got engines in them? I didn't even think to, I didn't even think about this. Hang on, that looks very empty. This rusted piece of scrap metal cannot be restored. This automobile is in terrible shape. You cannot think of a way to restore it. Hmm. I reckon we'll have to potentially sit on the, this car thing. But we'll keep it in mind. So highwaymen to the east in my list of things, I will have a uh, repair car question mark. I can't think of us discovering what we have about the car and us not being able to like fiddle with it in some way, which is exciting. <laughs> You're nice. There we go. See the kids of the town respect us. Good karma, baby. Okay. We've refueled the steel with Whiskey Bob, so I'll cross that off my list. Uh, the High Woman car has been discovered. Uh, the Rat King is dead. Cross that off my list. Um, so now we're going to go north for uh, the, the Trapper Smiley. So let's leave. And I guess we'll just go for a straight north and um, see how that goes. I'll be walking across town. Where's, um... I don't see that tall fella hanging about anymore. Um, I think I wanted to go to Arroyo for something as well. I was talking about that earlier, but I can't remember what it was. Something. Something I wanted to go back to Arroyo for, but I cannot remember. All right, uh, north of Klamath. There's nothing on the map, but it might be like a random encounter or something. I, I don't know. I have no way to tell. All we have is the direction of north, and we do not know how far north. This is the top of the map, so... Oh! <gasps> I found a settlement. 
there we go. Give us food, help us, money for those less fortunate. Food, we're hungry. Food, food, give us food. Food. Food, please. We're hungry. Okay, I'm, I've am i found a homeless encounter. Um, you encounter a group of homeless people. Homeless? What's this? What do you call this? They've even got cows. Oh, shit. Oh, you motherfuckers. You are not attacking me right now. Really? Just because I made fun of your living arrangements? No way. I'm running away. Okay, end combat. Why have they pulled a fucking knife on me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. They're coming after me. How are you homeless? You have a full house. You've got a bed that you can all share. You've got a you've got fucking Brahmin that you can eat. Oh my god, they're actually going for me. Guys! You've got food in the fridge! This is unbelievable! You've got food in the fridge! I can't give you food if you're attacking me in combat. This is unbelievable! You've got crops! Look! It looks like a mutated cabbage to you. It seems to be thriving in the warm weather. Warm weather, he says. Um, why the fuck are these people so stupid? <laughs> You've got food and a barricaded fence line. You have food, you have shelter, you have protection, and you're hanging around outside by the flaming barrels. I'm going to assume that this is nobody else's property because there's nobody here. I'm stuck in combat. This is hilarious. Can we not talk things through? What if I literally give them food? Come on. Ready? Please let this work. Okay, now they're running away from me. They're saying I cannot get there. A caravan wagon converted from the retro means of an ancient automobile. Come on. I'm going to try and give you some food. Let me do it. It's taking combat turns to do it, but they're running away. Now they're running away. Guys, don't run away. We're going to make this work. Ready? Food. What the fuck? Oh, they're not in we're not in combat anymore. Oh, we're in combat again. Well, they're not attacking me now. Here. Why isn't it working? Let me do it. Stop running away from me. Why are we in combat? You, you fucking bastards. I'm trying to help you. This is so ridiculous, dude. This is so ridiculous. So like, it they're passive, look, but then combat triggers. Then combat triggers again. They're only hostile for like uh, a little while and then they stop. And then they run away from me. And then I can end combat. And then it starts again. <laughs> what? Could you imagine if you could actually give them food, right? And then they're like, thank you, kind sir. You know? Fuck it, I give up on you then. I'm, I'm just leaving. There's, there's no reason for me to murder random homeless people. I did steal all their food, though. <laughs> they're too stupid to understand the concept of food. Uh, they've got a whole fucking pack of Brahmin. If they're smart about it, they'll figure that out. That's a milk sauce. I don't know if Brahmins in Fallout actually produce milk, but that's a milk sauce, potentially. They've got crops. You know? See you later, fellas. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Um, I'm just trying to go north. I'm as far north as I can go now, which means maybe we've gone too far north and I need to dial it back a bit. I cannot believe a random encounter with homeless people with actual food surrounding them. All right, let's try northwest because we've been here. Yeah, let me click on it. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to try the vicinity. Uh, at this point. We've been given the direction of north, but it's not giving us a location on the map, because usually you'd see like a green circle when it's an actual location. 
but there's nothing around here. Could it be on this? It wouldn't be on the same. I don't know if you can actually go to the same square. Like if you just go like. Yeah, because Klamath is the whole square. All right, I'm going to try this square now. We're wasting days, man. I need a gek. Is it the same group? <laughs> oh, I always love it when the game gives me the option. Do you wish to encounter them? Oh, there's a cave. Oh, there's a wild dog. Oh, God. Guys, you've got a dog. You can eat the dog. All right. All right. Before combat happens, ready? We're going to try and give food. All right. Before combat happens, I'm going to give food. The beggar takes the item. I think it worked. I think it worked. Because she ran away. Look, look. It's working. I'm feeding people. Oh. Come on. I'm trying to feed the, ch feed the child. Use the fruit on child. <laughs> okay. I think it's working. Slowly but surely. I've fed three of you. Now the rest are engaged in combat. Look, they actually stop. They stop working. Like, they stop even existing. Because you've given them food. So they can't ask you for more food. Because it doesn't work like that. I'm going to run out of food, though. I don't really have much. I can give you a rock if you want. Maybe you can suck on that. Oh, kid. <laughs> I got the thing for you. <laughs> I've used the beer on child. I think that's worked. Stop running away. I'm trying to feed you. All right feed you um oh the beer didn't work here you have a beer the beggar takes the item you can't give beer to children in the game that's so funny uh all right we've got two more left to feed this child's sulik no sulik <laughs> i'm feeding them stand down stand down sir <laughs> oh no sulik oh no I, I, I'm not going to be able to feed these people in time. No, not your confident, composed demeanor. Stop it. Don't attack. I'm not going to be able to do it in time. Sulik's going to kill one of them. He's decided he chose violence. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to give you the iguana. Take that. There you go. All right. There's one left. One left. This guy. I'm going to feed this whole goddamn team. This is not the same group of homeless people, but these these people will be fed. All right, have I got anything? I think beer works. Oh, no. Oh, the child did take the beer. Hold on. The child did take the beer because I had two. You can give beer to children. And then I gave the other one because the inventory refreshes. The kid has been given the gift of beer. Um, I can give you some jerky. Beggar takes the item. Now, they're all hostile. No, Sulek, don't do it. Oh, it's Death Claws. They're Death Claws, right? Oh, my God. What the fuck? No way. How many? Do you know how fucking terrifying just like three or four death claws were in the first game? Holy shit, it's a breeding ground. The homeless people are just chilling by a death claw cave and they don't even know it. They don't even know it. Oh my god. Are we there yet? Food! Food! You wanna play? Give us food, give us food. Okay, can we just address the fact that when you actually encounter a group of homeless people, if you feed them all, they just stop existing. Like, they still repeat their dialogue, but they're calm now. I've actually fed them. There is a drunk child included in this group, but, like, there's no combat. 
we did it and they can feed on that dog later if they want amazing um that is mind-blowing behavior um i've fed the people i'm jesus now if we go in this cave <laughs> is this a randomly generated encounter because this is this is messed up this is hilarious I have encountered death claws. Oh, and they're not peaceful. It's not a. We, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. What if? What if we want to negotiate? Take me to a leader. You got a death claw leader in here? Wow. This is so much worse than Death Claw Valley because this is like a nest of them. There's yellow ones. You're hiding in here. This one. All right, how much damage? Ugh! None. Oh, there you go. Three hit points. Please die. Perfect. All right, I think that we've done enough damage, don't you think? Ready for me to get hit in one shot. I'm going to get killed. Oh, it's just a lesser death claw. Could you imagine if I actually somehow managed to survive this mess? I'm assuming that the death claws would be very strong. They've got a lot of health. I think I would need... Oh, it's the awareness perk, isn't it? The awareness perk would give me hit points. That would actually be so useful to know if I even had a chance here. Next level up, I think we might get... Um, next level up, I think we might go for awareness because that would give us the full thing. Oh! I killed one! I actually killed it. It's not that they're not that strong. I, it's, they are lesser death claws, so that makes sense. I hit it in the head and actually killed it. I did not expect it to die. So you're telling me there's a chance. Holy shit. Me and Sulik might... Oh, we've got stim packs. We might be able to do this. Do you think it is possible for us to take out a death claw cave? This is going to be... 29 points! This is going to be the most legendary thing I've ever done. No wonder I'm the chosen one. They're going to write this in the Fallout law books. Oh my god! We are getting ganged up on, so this is quite problematic. But we could potentially, like, retreat. Come back and, like, poke at them and prod at them. Come on, I can't afford to be missing. Let's go. Sulek, yes, the 20 hit points. This is good shit. This combat armor is helping me tremendously. All right, I'm going to need to stim pack. Um, I'm going to need a stim. There's a, there is a definite chance of winning here. This is insane. I thought that I would be massacred and my bones scattered to the wasteland, right? But like... We're getting critical blows on him, too. Just keep going for the head. Just right for the brain. Bump. There's no there's no room for memes. There's no room for groin shots. We gotta we gotta win. I'm getting mighty scarred, but like. Oh! Oh! oh. Let's go. It's a good thing I saved outside. All right, I'm gonna need to heal again. This is actually iconic. I cannot believe that this is happening. This is the greatest. Fuck yes. Oh my god, the XP is gonna be crazy. The fact that I'm able to heal and get two punches in uh, is really good too. You can go for three punches or two punches and a heal. Oh, oh, oh. I do have healing powder. All right, we're going to, we're going to, yeah. I, th I think it's worth it. We can buy more stim packs with the money that we've got. We'll, we'll use two. That'll, that's a nice refresher. And then another punch. Oh, shit. I had another punch that I just totally let go. Yes. Oh, my God. The other ones aren't even in combat with us yet. This is good. This is incredible! 
Ooh, I'm taking on a whole cave of death claws. And these are just the lesser death claws. We know that there's the big boys and they don't play. They would rip you apart. All right, how many, how many experience points? I just got 1575. Yes! Oh my god. Can we loot? I don't think you can loot Death Claws. I don't know if they got anything on them. Oh my god. I don't even think there's going to be any loot in this cave because this is quite literally just a randomly generated Death Claw cave, I think. We're going to let them come to us. Actually, I'm going to take us back just in case we need to um, pop out of the entrance. I think we'll lure them to us because greater chances of survival now if we just focus on one at a time we'll try and just lure them in this is so fun i'm so so happy they're like i was terrified and i'm like you know what i'm the chosen one. Oh my god i'm the chosen one you know what that means that means we're taken on death claws one two three four five six left i think so 262 experience points per death claw. Yes, there you go. One at a time. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay, we've angered more of them. All right, let's run around the corner. Sulik, you better come with me. All right, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we've got another three coming in. Uh, Yeah, it's worth it, like I said. For this XP, fuck yeah, it's worth it. Um, and we'll just go and buy more. No, Sulik. Okay, shit. Wait. Uh, all right, we're separated now. That's right, I got this one. I'll be back with you for a while. Oh, nice. Sulik's helping me. Told him to stay close, and he's got a defensive attitude. Let's go. <laughs> all right, Sulik, I'm helping you out. This is, this might just be the single greatest combat encounter we've had in classic Fallout. The Chosen One and Sulik went to a Deathclaw cave and lived to tell the tale. Like how many have we killed and how many was in here? Like 15? At least? My Lord, we got this. Sulik's got healing powder on his inventory as well, if he needs it. Yes. <laughs> I am so happy that we saved and, like, attempted this, because I almost just left, because I'd be like, okay, well, we're going to avoid that. But lesson learned, just save the game and try. You know what I mean? Just see what happens. Just see what happens, because you might actually end up killing a whole bunch. Okay, we've pissed off some more. Uh, final stim pack. I'll have to head into town and buy some. All right, how many is left? This is like the final three, and we've got the attention of two. All right, we can do this. We got this, Sulik. I'm gonna hide behind you though. Okay. Punching time. Oh, hang on. I see a magnum effort. Oh, there's items in here. There is items in here. It's good to know. I didn't see them. I'll have to clear this out and then we'll highlight the items. Oh, come on. These, these spiked knuckles, dude. Being an unarmed character is always so good. Like the chosen one just decided, I'm going to go into this deathclaw cave and punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna go and punch some death claws in the face. <laughs> oh, dude, this is. Die! Yes, oh my god. One more. Grandfather teaches. We learn. We've got a level up. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna healing powder. Actually, do we. I don't think we heal on a nuka collar at all, do we? No. We just drink it and we're like... I might wait, actually, to heal instead of going for the... Um, 
going for the powder. All right, what have we got? Because we've got some more perks now. We've got even more. Um, I did say awareness, but we've got adrenaline rush, plus one to strength when you drop below half health. Awareness, so we can actually see exact hit points and information. Bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage, I was thinking is going to be necessary. For each level of bonus move, you get two free action points each turn that can only be used for movement. Comprehension, educated, plus two skill points when you gain experience level, faster healing, here and now, straight up another level, Kama Sutra, <laughs> magnetic personality, an extra slot in companion limit, but don't forget that more than five is always a crowd. You can have up to five companions. Uh, pack rat. Carry that little extra you've always needed. The presence thing. Quick pockets. Quick recovery. Rad resistant smooth talker. Snake eater. Snake eater! With one E. Interesting enough. It's snake eater. It's one word. Snake eater. <laughs> uh, Stonewall, Strongback, Swift Learner. Go for another Swift Learner. Thief. All right, I think we're going to go for the Awareness. Oh, actually, maybe the hand-to-hand -hand damage. You cause plus two points of damage for each level. All right, hand-to-hand -hand damage it is. And then skill points, we're going to bump these up. I'm going to just continue to go. Oh, actually, I remember this from the first game. You can go above. Yeah, you can go above 100%, which is kind of weird because it's like you'd think you'd, that would be maxing it out. But like it. Yeah, you do get more. I'll have to remember that, actually. Keep that in mind. We'll put lockpick at 30 and we'll put our uh, um We'll also put our speech at 65. Let's do that. All right. Final one. Oh, there's leather armor in here as well. There's a bunch of stuff to get in here. All right, we're going to wait. I cannot rest. Um, I will walk outside. Actually, just to be safe. I don't know what happens if you enter and exit the cave. So we're going to make another different save. I'm going to leave. Homeless people are still here. We're going to wait. Oh, I just straight up can't rest here at all. Not even outside. All right. No rest for the wicked. Right in. Back into the cave. To war! We're going up against it. Look at this corpse pile. Holy shit. Look at this pile of death claws. This is, uh, this is something else. All right. I got 18 health, so I gotta be careful. But I have saved at this point because that was a lot. Dude, my bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage. Look at that. That's coming in. Yes. Yes. Look at that bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage. We did it, baby. All right, now what's in here? Because my... I'm pressing shift and I can't see any yellow items, but it's saying use... Oh, hang on. I might be an idiot. It might have been look, telling me the invite the my inventory. And then I got distracted because I'm literally in a death claw situation. It might have been my own inventory. Yeah. It's my own fucking inventory, guys. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I tricked myself and I was like, "Oh, guys, we have there's stuff to loot in here." Uh, I was caught up in the hype of combat, being like, there's actually stuff, but yeah, I'm holding down shift and there's nothing. So I think the 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 true loot was the death claws that we met along the way. That is wild. Look at the look at the mountain of corpses. <laughs> death claw slayer. <laughs> uh. All right, everybody, I have good news. You will eat 
For weeks, for months, I have not only fed you here today, but I have fed you for the foreseeable future. Enter that cave and you will be happy. I hope a settlement springs up in my name here. There are more homeless people will gather as they have, uh, they've got deathclaw corpses and one of them is a really smart homeless person and he starts being like, you know what? I can grow deathclaw meat in a, in a science lab and then a um, hundred years later, this will be a flourishing society of domesticated deathclaw pets and they also have a farm for, um, for meat uh, and sustenance and there's a whole sort of thing going on here. Um, and then deathclaws, I have single-handedly facilitated the beginning of deathclaw domestication. They will, a smart guy will come up, be able to figure out how to clone deathclaw DNA for in a, like a Jurassic Park scenario, but it's actually gonna work this time. <laughs> Can we just address the fact that I still haven't found Smiley, but I found a whole deathclaw cave. Ooh, a group of trappers. This could be, this could be it. A dirty, unshaven man and a dirty, haggard woman. All right, you guys are gonna be friendly because I'm pretty weak. I'm gonna save over this one, just in case. You guys friendly? Howdy, don't come across people too often out here in Trapper Country. What do you want? Why well, need Smiley? Do you have any gecko pelts for sale? Well, I reckon I might be able to sell you my pelts. It will save me the trouble of going into town. What do you have? Looks like I don't have any golden gecko pelts, but I do have seven regular gecko pelts. So you can buy pelts for 32. Do you gain a profit? I don't know how much the pelts sell for. I'm not sure if this is a profit opportunity or not. Um, Cause I haven't sold any pelts myself or checked their value. So I'm actually not sure. Um, so this actually seems like this is an opportunity to yeah, golden gecko pelt for 150. This is an opportunity to gather some pelts. Like you could offer to be like a trader. You could do the whole caravan thing. I'll transport these pelts to town, get paid. Let's take a chance. I'm going to buy um, some pelts. So this is 30 bucks and the golden gecko pelt was 150. And they, they vary in price between the group. Five golden gecko pelts. Now, if we gain a profit from this, this would be exceptional, but this is a massive, this is a massive risk because also this is probably a random encounter and we probably won't be able to see these guys again, you know? Um, oh, I was in the exit zone. Shit. I was in the exit zone, so it automatically left. Okay. Um, let's find out if we can get a profit here, because obviously we have a limited amount of money. We don't want to just spend it all on pelts and then sell at a loss. But let's head back to Klamath, and we're going to go to... What's his face? And we're going to see if we can sell these for a profit. Just a bit of gecko pelt trading is pretty fun. Um, let's see. I fucking hope so. But I think the problem is this guy needs to have money, right? Because you can't just say, I've got gecko pelts. Because if I say, let's see what you've got. Hey, dude has no money. Oh, he's got 235, and he's also got stim packs. So let's have a look. One pelt. Oh, we're selling at a loss. No. Yeah, it's a loss. Golden gecko pelt is 125, and a normal pelt is 25. We're buying to sell at a loss. No. All right. Why well, am reloading? <laughs> I, mean, I am reloading because I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing that to myself. That is such a shame. That is such a shame. 
I feel like the game should reward you for doing some immersive um, smug like trading of goods. You, you take it off their hands and then you go and sell it for a profit. That's a that's a real shame. And also this group of trappers is not what I need, which is actually also mind blowing. Do you wish to encounter some bandits attacking some farmers? Sure, let's let's help them out. If they if they get killed right in front of us, it's gonna be oh they can defend themselves. That's fine. If they get killed right as we're trying to um, help them out, I'm I'm coming in. The kid is throwing hands, dude. The kid punched the. Oh shit, dude! This farmer's kid is going to die. Bandit was critically hit. Oh my god, this is good. Dude, the kid! <laughs> the kid's kicking him while they're down. This is so fucking funny. I love this game so much because, like, I honestly think just the scenarios you find yourself in are so exciting. They're so funny. Right, is this guy a bandit? Is he a bandit? Right. Let me get this guy. I need to right, figure out if I'm attacking the right person because they're all red. Right, let's go for the bandit. Oh, yeah. Back of the head. If they're all red, I'm a bit concerned if Sulik will go for the wrong person. Oh, dude. Female fighter throwing hands. All right, Sulik's going for the right person. Dude, if this kid dies... Oh, farmer's kid critically missed and hurt herself. No! The farmer's kid got fucking stabbed to death. That's a, that's a brave kid. The other kid was like, made the smart choice, but like... That one fought for uh, uh, their family. My lord. Take my wife, please. What? Dude, he's straight up giving up his wife. What an asshole. What an asshole. He's like, take my wife. I'm like here to try and save your family and you're giving them up. We got this, we got this. You you might just, unfortunately, you've lost your pet dog and you've lost one kid. No kid, don't run into fucking combat. No, the farmer's wife was killed. It's just gonna be the dad that gave up, that wanted to give up the wife and one kid. Oh my God. We got this. We'll try our best. No, your wife's dead. Ow, I've tried my best to save this family. No, I'm not a joke. Get punched and killed. Nice. That's what you get for calling me a job. A uh, joke. All right. Nice. I gained karma. Um, you just keep your hands where I can see them. We've been plagued by bandits lately, and I think you just might be one of them. What do you want? Just wanted to trade for supplies. Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Here's what I got to trade. Don't suppose you want the clothes off my wife's back? You're a trader with four coin and three apples, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> no way. Okay, now get. All right, see ya, bro. I'm gonna go loot these corpses. So I've got profit to be made. Damn, this dude almost had more money than an actual trader. Oh, it's a wild dog. Oh, <laughs> uh, we won't disturb the remains of the uh, of the child. The farmer's wife, however, with there is coin and uh, weapon. Damn, that other kid though has to be like, cool. I've lost my sibling and my mom, and now I'm just with my fucking deadbeat dad. You see a young child. You can't speak to the child. All right, well, I wish you well on your journeys. Damn. <laughs> Smiley, where the fuck are you, dude? You know how many days it's been in Fallout land? I need a Gek. I'm a bit concerned about that. Because in the first game, we were on a time limit and it gave you that time limit straight away. Like, it was like time limit. It's like, here's your fucking... Um, Here's your water. It's on the Pip-Boy. You've got this many days, right? Now, we don't have that 
Whoa. What the fuck? Look at that. Is this the Brotherhood? Old man, you will come with us. Leave us alone. I'll never support your cause of superiors. I will not ask you to come again. Come now. You'll be made an example of. Would rather what knowledge I have disappear with me into the grave. So be it. Kill them all. This is none of your affair. Turn around and walk away. What the fuck is that? You seem to find some people in the wrong place at the wrong time. I can't even highlight them. It can't even tell me what they are. I, I'm not even able to move. Holy shit. Was that the Enclave or the Brotherhood? Whoa. You seem to find some people in the wrong place at the wrong time. They were trying to get them to come with them and they were like, no. And they all got exploded. Holy shit. Is that a random encounter as well? Because what the fuck? That's incredible. Holy shit, dude. Like, what the fuck? Do you see how big that thing was? Like, that was not, um... That was not power armor. That was a monster in armor. What in the world, dude? The amount of shit I've just been able to find in this, um... In the wasteland, just in, like, random encounters, is... is infinitely more appealing and entertaining than uh, the first game. They've really stepped it up in that sense. And I cannot find this thing. What if it's on that square? I don't know, man. Oh god, where are we? Unclean! What's going on? A band of outcasts. Alright, well. Let's, let's throw down. Um, I really need to try and figure out where the hell Smiley is. The thing that kind of um, makes me laugh is we're like trying to find golden geckos and Smiley. We ended up finding the golden geckos in a tent, but it, it was clear that that was a random encounter. Damn, these dudes are throwing hands. got him. That person skidded along the ground for so long. <laughs> oh! Oh, you're kicking now instead. How interesting. I haven't seen Sulik kick before. I'm taking more damage from these guys than I, I was with Deathclaws. Nice. Ow. My character of just this guy is throwing hands is the best. <laughs> you want to face me? I threw hands with 15 death claws and lived to tell the tale, you bastards. All right, what do these guys got on them? Probably nothing. I feel like traders need to have more money. They need to have more stock. And I guess the reason why they don't is so you as a player can't end up fucking super, super rich immediately. But also, come on. Come on. Allow me to trade with people. Collection of brewed beverages. This is a bar. <laughs> Ready to pour. All right. If I use a mug on it, can I get some ale? All right, let's move on. Back to Klamath. Because I have uh, unsuccessfully um, found Smiley. <laughs> Smiley? I haven't seen a trap by that name. Tell me about him. Downright serious with each other. I thought I'd finally gotten to him to agree to settle down here and let, help me run this place. But he said he needed to go off on one last quest. He told me he knew where all the golden geckos came from and he wanted to find out for sure. He thought that maybe it was some kind of magical spring or maybe a hidden cave or vault of some kind. Well, I don't rightly know what he said, but he seemed real excited about going. I'd like to help. I could look for him for you. Oh, shit. Let me mark on your map where he talked about looking. I sure hope you can find him. Oh, no. 
we needed to talk to her again to get it on the map because remember when we didn't save and we had to reload and then we didn't get that information and then I'm a fucking idiot. So I've just been like rolling around looking for him this whole time. No. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, let's look on the bright side. This has been infinitely more entertaining for hopefully you and definitely me. <laughs> Because we have discovered some incredible things that we would not have discovered otherwise if we did not go to the toxic caves. Jesus Christ. That's not north, that's northwest. Ew. Okay, well this is going to be great. Um, look. There's probably been people being like, you forgot to get the thing marked on your map because you had to reload. And you know what? Fair. Absolutely fair. But would we have encountered Deathclaw Cave otherwise? No. Uh, so I'm going to just say it's worth it. You know what isn't worth it? The sheer amount of um, geckos that we have killed and not gotten any pelts for. Oh, that's insane right there. Also, I have to be careful what I'm standing on. Because I don't want to get... Sulik, don't get on the toxic waste. You will die. Well, you won't die, but, you know. Suffer some damage, and we don't want that. So Smiley's gone into Toxic Cave. Um... Can we safely get in here? I don't think we can. We'll end up walking right over the toxic waste. I need like rad resistance and like some sort of hazmat suit and all sorts. Again, no bloody no bloody pelts. Oh. Ouch. Sulik, no. Be sensible, man. Out of range. Worried about Sulik's here. Alright, get out get out of that toxic waste, will you? Still no pelts. Sulik, get out of the waste! Oh my god. He's, uh, he's not doing so well at that. Dude, no! This dude is going to get killed. This dude is an idiot. Walk around it, man. Alright. I need to get this guy to stay still, I think. I'm gonna be like, hey man, just don't come with me at this point. Because you're gonna die. I think that might be what I have to do. I'm like, Sulek, just stay here. I'll take on the geckos on my own, you know? Um... What you be needing? You should heal yourself. Will do. Spirits have guarded us. We're fine. Okay. He's healing. Cool. Alright, looks like we've got to wait down. Okay, it's getting less toxic. That's good news. Oh, I take it back. Oh, dude. No. You just see a filthy trap with torn and bloodstained clothing. He appears to be favoring one leg slightly. So how the fuck? We're going to have to suffer some damage to go through there. Oh, look at the infected geckos. All right. We got to do it. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave Sulik, like, before I go through there, I'll get him to wait. But we've got some geckos to pound. He's definitely good to have around for that sledgehammer. Can you even get pelts from these fucking things? Like, what the fuck? Unbelievable. Remains of a dog. 
Like, do I have to do something specific to get a pelt? That's what I'm questioning now at this point. What is that? Oh, glowing eggshell. So the, the golden and geckos, are they born from radiation? Like in irradiated eggs? That's pretty cool. If true. Right, now I've got two to worry about. Oh, they're both going for me. I'm in danger. Nice. Good showing. I'm going to keep checking the geckos every time, just in case, but they're disappointing. Oh, shit. Okay, I think this is where I might have to leave Sulik. I just don't want him to just end up getting irradiated and dying. I wonder if this is vault stuff here. Could be. Um, alright, Sulik. What you be needing? I need you to wait here until I come back. Want to take a little nap? Talk to Grampy Bone. Not going anywhere. Okay. That's it for now. Alright, we're gonna leave him here. Which means I don't think he's gonna be in this. Will he fight right now? If he's waiting? Yeah, cool. He still fights. Nice, the kick. Learns from the best. Ouch. Okay. Still no pelt. Alright, here we go. Bye! I didn't take any damage. Wait, what? Is it because I'm wearing combat armor? Does that give me enough resistance? But Sulik does is leather jacket, so. Interesting. Glowing eggshell. Pieces of a broken eggshell, it, grow, it glows. So it's broken, so they've hatched already. I think that I'm actually safe. I think the combat armor protects me. I thought I would still take some damage. Good stuff. That's nice. That increases my chance for survival by a decent amount. Nice. Yeah, the lack of pelts, man. Like, it makes me wonder, like, if, do I have to, like, do something specific with the... with the corpse or something, you know? Like... Doctor. <laughs> can't heal the dead. I don't know, man. Like, do I, should I use a knife on it? That does nothing. Like, use a knife to, like, cut the pelt off, but no. Oh, actually, after combat, I wonder if I should equip a knife instead of my knuckles. Don't miss. You're a strong man. Ah, uh, you know what? Something I should have done before we went straight to these caves while we are in Klamath is I should have bought those stim packs because we're a little bit weak at the moment. I feel like we are able to survive, but it's, uh, it's dangerous. Definitely dangerous. Um, all right, looking at knives. Um, we got a cop because we got an actual combat knife that can do five to twenty, so pretty much the same as the knuckles. Uh, the sledgehammer is like four to nineteen. Yeah, we're actually doing good with our spiked knuckles. Yeah. Oh, hang on. There's a fucking. Oh, I didn't even see the. There's a whole. Yeah, we can just go around completely. Amazing. Which means... 
I think that's still toxic, though. Alright, let's go. Let's face this gecko. And... I'm going to take a risk with the healing powder. We'll lose some perception, but I need a little bit more health, I think. Where's this gecko at? Some good hit points, and you're healing me for no damage, so I healed myself for kind of no reason. Alright. It took a perception hit for no reason. Can you let me click on the thing? Why don't you... Let me loot the gecko here. Maybe it melted in the goo. Just so happy I'm not taking any damage. Alright. Hello? Yo. Hello there, stranger. People call me Smiley. I'm sure glad to see you. I thought I was going to die here for certain. I'm hurt too bad to get past those damn lizards on my own. What are you doing here? Oh, there's Cornwall Golden Geckos north and west of Klamath than anywhere else, so I figured that all the Golden Geckos live someplace up here. Looks like you were right. Looks as though I was a little too right. I got in here okay, but then one of those damn leckos got behind me and damn near took my, my leg off. I just barely made it over here. I wonder why they didn't finish you off. Well, I guess they don't like to crawl through the goo too much. Can't say as I blame them. Sure burns if it gets on your skin, but that doesn't seem to stop them from licking up the darn stuff like it was Buckner's best. Interesting. Enough gum flapping. Now let's get out of here. I figure that if I can join you, uh, if I join you, we should both be able to make it out of here okay. I sure could use the help. Ooh, another companion. We could run with Smiley and Sulik. Okay, you can join me. I'll make sure to get you out of here and back to Klamath. I think that Arden is going to be glad to see you again. Nice. I'd love to chat with you, but let's just get out of here now and chat later. Actually, he's probably not a companion because we don't get an actual, like, talking voice acting screen like with Sulik, right? Just one question first. What do you know about these caves? These caves look like a pre-war storage area. I think there must be more down below us. Uh, but there's some kind of fancy technological lock on the door. Anyhow, I've had enough. Let's get out of here. A vault, potentially? You see, computer. All right, science. You fail to learn anything. Yeah, I don't really have computer skill. I've got no science abilities, so I don't think that this is going to really be good. I don't know if I'll be able to get in here as a result. So this should be locked, locked down tight. You see, elevator door. You need to get the generator working first. There's a generator. Okay. Uh, it looks like a generator. Let's have a look. Maybe I gotta repair this bad boy, or it's tied to this. Repair? I failed to repair it. What if I use the tools on it? Damn. I'm pretty sure using tools increases the, the chance. Um, but we we might not be able to do it. I think it's like doing a check every time, so we could at least continue to try. Mm, yeah, we might have to increase our repair skill. Come back here later. Yeah, all right, we'll come back here later. But we'll, we'll add that to the list of things to do. Um, yep, Smiley, get out of the door, please. All right, we can go around this way. Yeah, cool, confirmed. Combat armor, you don't take damage. Nice. All right, we'll head back to Sulik. Good stuff. All right. Oh, my boots just melted. Oh, shit. <coughs> so, excuse me. Um, my boots have melted. What if I put the rubber boots on? I don't know if you can... Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I can put it in my item slot, but like, am I wearing boots now? You know? I don't know. <laughs> like, does that classify as me wearing the boots? What you be needing? I don't know. Let's go.
What you be needing? Spirits, please. Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? What do they tell you about this place? Evil spirits aren't killing cattle. Oh, okay. What? Same stuff about this area. All right, let's go, everybody. My boots melted. Oh, Sulek, Sulek, no. Oh, three hits on that one puddle. You are killing. You are killing me, bud. Yeah, I don't know if the boots are <laughs> an actual part of that or not. All right, let's leave. Sulek is walking. That's nice. It's not going through. Oh, hang on. I got to go through this. Um, I'm going to tell Sulek to what? wait. Want to take a little nap? Okay, I'll leave Sulik there so I can go through this door because I don't take damage. So I can loot this locker and get a nice Rad X too. And boots. The fact that it's got the rubber boots in here almost reinforces the, the thing. I'm still not taking damage though, even though it said your boots melted. So that could have been like more of a funny what thing. What you be? What you be need to get out of here? All right. Hey, thanks for saving my sorry ass. I better hightail it back to Klamath. See you there. Don't worry about me. I can make it back on from here on my own. Okay. We gained seventy-five karma and a thousand experience. Let's go. We're now in September, baby. It's been a it's been an arduous month. That's that's for sure. But we we fucking did the damn thing. We managed to go back to Klamath and do the rat stuff. Do Smiley refuel the mill things are uh, the still things that we missed. You know, you're the one that found my Smiley. Thank you, thank you so much. Smiley got lucky this time. You just tell him to be a bit more careful. Well, I just don't know what we could ever do to thank you. It's a motivator, baby. It's always a nice way of saying thanks. I don't have much, but here's a hundred bucks. I wish it could be more, but with all the Brahmin we've lost, that's all we can afford. I'm sorry. Thanks, Miss Buckner. Goodbye. Thank you, Mrs. Buckner. And I got my perception back. Um, all right, where's Smiley at, though? Is he in here? There he is. I sure owe you for saving my hide. Least I can do is teach you something in return. Ooh. Teach? Since those geckos nearly had my hide, let me teach you how to get theirs. <laughs> it's a skill that you have to learn. You get taught. Oh, all these geckos that have been killed. This episode has been such a learning experience for me, hasn't it? Wow. Here's how you skin them. Smiley demonstrates. And when you kill them, you can get their hides and sell them. Okay, thanks. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Tell me something else, though. I had a few questions about hunting geckos. I want to know all you can teach me about geckos. All right. Uh, teach me, oh great trapper. <laughs> well, you see, it's like this. Golden geckos and regular geckos are basically the same critter, except the golden's got a big second helping of sheer cussedness. Time passes as you learn the lore of the gecko. That was great. I think I know a lot more about geckos now. Thanks. Goodbye. Time has passed. Um... Questions about the area. Maida Buckner, Widow Buckner's daughter, is the one to talk to about sorts of town gossip. Is Miss Buckner happy to see you back? Widow Buckner's so darn happy to have me back that she may be Mrs. Smiley before too long. She was even talking about giving you a little something for finding her my hairy butt and returning it to her. That's great. All right, we got the money. So we now have learned how to skin the geckos um and again i i think that's great in hindsight like learning it from an actual trapper and you, then being able to use it as an applied skill later amazing unfortunately all of the geckos that we have killed are nothing but blood stains no which means we can now apply that in future to all of those geckos that we we killed um but this has been an incredible episode. Um, there's obviously been some painful moments here. Like, unfortunately, I failed to locate Smiley in the most convenient manner. But the roundabout way of doing so led to such 
a hilarious situation that I'm so happy that we did it this way. Uh, it's just so funny. And um, we managed to complete some previous quests. I'm enjoying this game so much. Uh, this is just exceptional. It makes me want to make sure I can do as many things as possible in the game. I hope you have enjoyed watching along with me today, despite the hurdles we have had to overcome. I'm having such a great time and I, and I hope you continue to do so as well. So thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Fallout 2, and I will see you next time.